everyone, I'm photographer and filmmaker TK North. To continue on in this Premiere Pro series, in this video I'll be looking at the foundations of colour correction, which is definitely my favourite part of the video editing process, so let's jump in and get started. Colour correction or colour grading are broad terms that describe the adjustments you make to the colours and also the brightness of your visuals. These can be simple adjustments or more complex changes to totally change the mood and feel of your video. I'll be going through simple steps to give your footage a professional look plus some extra tools to give your videos more of a creative look. The Lumetri colour panel inside Premiere Pro is where most of your colour adjustments will take place. So first of all, make sure you have this panel open and visible. A simple option to open up this panel so it's easy to work with is to go up to your workspaces and select the color workspace. This will open up the Lumetri color panel on the right. To start applying adjustments to individual clips, first ensure you have the clip you want to start editing selected on the timeline. With the Lumetri color panel open, you'll see a number of different tabs here, but let's get started with basic corrections. Here you can make some basic adjustments, but you can also get a little bit more creative. You can add a bit more punch to your visuals by playing around with the white balance, the temperature and tint. Also things like the exposure and contrast. You can also add a bit more color to your clips by increasing the saturation of your clips. Next up, let's look at matching color between clips. With video, it's always noticeable when colors in a scene change from one shot to the next. To match clips, you can adjust the individual clips by using the sliders. When adjusting the white balance, you can also use the selector tool. This is designed to click on a neutral area like white. Premiere Pro will automatically adjust the white balance depending on that area you've selected. For more precise color matching between clips, Premiere Pro also has a tool to automatically match clips for you. So let's come down to the color wheels and match tab inside the Lumetri color panel. Here you'll need two separate clips, one that you wish to use as your reference clip and another one that you want to match to your reference clip. In this tab, turn on the comparison view. This will use one clip as your reference and a new clip to match your reference clip. When you have both your reference and new clip selected, simply click apply match and Premiere Pro will do its best to automatically match these two clips. If you want to go one step further to really stylize your footage for more of a creative look, there's also plenty of options that can quickly and easily achieve a creative look. This can be done by using LUT, which stands for lookup tables. Simply, these are like presets or filters, but for video. To apply these, open up the creative section of the Lumetri color panel. You should find multiple filmic presets already available here in the look menu. There's also endless options to download LUTs from camera manufacturers and also creators online, ready to use in Premiere Pro on your own clips. Here in the look menu, you can browse through previews and if you find one you like, simply click on it to apply it to your shot. You can increase or decrease the intensity of these effects by simply sliding the intensity slider to the left or right. If you wish to copy any changes you've made to one clip in Lumetri Color, to a second clip, simply select copy on one clip. On the new clip, come over to paste attributes and just make sure you've got Lumetri color selected and nothing else. You can copy those exact changes over to a new clip that you made to your previous clip. So that was just an introduction to some of the many tools for color correction or color grading inside Premiere Pro. There is endless options and as you get a little bit more confident, you can start using more of them. For now, I'm TK North, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching.